to God. So Abraham leaves the young men behind. He engages in separation. Balyakare, kadu the old gude abada vittu to veer vaadu bari cho. Aman Moria Malayile ko yatra varapattu. But then, if we'll stay on course, our father and mother should not know that. After the separation, veer vaadu nisheesham, we will experience the supply. ദൈവത്തിന്റെ കരുതൽ ദൈവം നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടി നൽകുന്നത് ആ സപ്ലൈ നാം അതിനുശേഷമാണ് അനുഭവിക്കുന്നത് അബ്രഹാം അവരെയൊക്കെ പുറകിൽ മാറ്റി അവൻ തന്റെ മകനുമായിട്ട് വിറകുമായിട്ട് തീയുമായിട്ട് മോറിയാമലയിലേക്ക് അവർ യാത്ര പുറപ്പെട്ടു as they're on their way avar ingane kadannu pogumbol apparently isaac must have done this before isaac idinu munba idu porulla yagam kandittullavanana adan anubhavichittullavana because he turns to his dad avante pidavante adukkilek avan thirinju says father appa i see the fire nyana thee kaanunnundu i see the knife and the wood kattiyum viragum ivide undu but dad where is the lamb for the burnt offering appa oma yagathinullaya aatin kutti evide as abraham is going up mount moriah abraham moriah malayilekku kadannu pogumbol he is confronted by a tough question oru valiya buddhimuttulla oru chodyam avan ippol kettirikkukaya and we need to understand ava naam onnu manasilaakkanam that sometime the journey to moriah is just like life itself മോറിയ മലയിലേക്കുള്ള യാത്ര ചിലപ്പോൾ ജീവൻ തന്നെയാണോ ജീവിതം തന്നെയാണ് അത് ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടേറിയ ചോദ്യങ്ങൾ നിറഞ്ഞ ഒരു നിമിഷമാണ് എനിക്ക് എന്തുകൊണ്ട് ഇത് ഇപ്പോൾ സംഭവിച്ചു എന്റെ മാതാവ് ഈ സന്ദർഭത്തിൽ എന്തുകൊണ്ട് മരിച്ചു എന്റെ ജോലി എന്തുകൊണ്ട് ഇപ്പോൾ നഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടു ഏബ്രഹാം ഇസ് ആസ്ക് എ ടഫ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ അബ്രഹാമിനോട് ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ചോദ്യം ഇപ്പോൾ ചോദിച്ചിരിക്കുകയാണ് but what we've got to understand നാം അറിയേണ്ട ഒരു വിഷയം is that there are some tough questions in life ജീവിതത്തിൽ ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടേറിയ ചില ചോദ്യങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ട് that cannot be answered on the level of human understanding മാനുഷിക ബുദ്ധി വെച്ച് മറുപടി കൊടുക്കുവാൻ കഴിയാത്തതായ ചില ചോദ്യങ്ങളാണ് ഉത്തരം കൊടുക്കേണ്ടത് ഒരു ചവിട്ടു പടിയുടെ മുൻപോട്ട് കയറിക്കൊണ്ട് മാത്രമേ അതിന് മറുപടി കൊടുക്കുവാൻ കഴിയും അബ്രഹാം തന്റെ മകന്റെ അടുക്കിലേക്ക് തിരിഞ്ഞു എന്റെ മകനെ God will provide himself a lamb for the burnt off. Amen. Devam thanikku homayagathinu oru aattin kuttiye karidikkolu. Isaac must have said when is he going to do it dad? Pidave appa eppolaanu labikkuvan pogunnu avan chodichilla. He said I don't know but God will provide. Avan parayunnu adu eppol kittum ennu karinjukunda enna devam adu thakka samayathu karidunnavanaanu. Hallelujah. 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 So the Bible says they were then praying no they went to Moriah Moria Malayilekku chennu Abraham made ready the altar Abraham yagabidam padudu bound up his son Isaac thanda maganaya Isaac hakine ketti took the knife to slay his son aa magane arukku van vendi katti eduthu when all of a sudden the angel of heaven walana pattana homina doodan called out from heaven സ്വർഗത്തിൽ നിന്ന് വിളിക്കുകയാണ് and said abraham 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 notice satthiya he called him twice avane rendu pravashyam avade vilichu that's covenant language aa udambadiyuda bhasha it's called the double declaration other the double declaration devathinte levana prakhyavanam aanado when god gets ready to establish a covenant devam avarumayittu oru udambadi sthapippan pogaya many times in the word of god he will call a man twice devam thande vadanathile oru manushane rendu pravashyam ulikkunu engil moses on the back side of the desert moses parvathathine appurathu vachu 
the bush burned and was not consumed and God said Moses Moses take off your shoes for the ground in which you're standing is holy ground when Saul was walk, was going down the road to Damascus and Jesus appeared to him in a bright light he said Saul Saul why are you persecuting me so now God is about to reestablish his covenant with Abraham and he says Abraham 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 hallelujah praise the Lord do your son no harm for now I know that you fear God and the Bible says and behold Abraham looked up and he saw a ram caught in the thickets by its horns hallelujah and Abraham took the ram and offered him in the stead of his son God supplied Abraham's need Hallelujah Praise the Lord Now listen to me I'm almost finished but I need us to see some things about this provision that God provided Firstly Abraham was expecting a lamb. Abraham, or you are But God sent a ram. Devam, Amana, or you are Kombakatu Kuding at Kunaya, or Adine Karnachu. Call out in the Anon Karnachu. Praise the Lord. Okay, got it? Yeah, go ahead. They will get it. <laughs> Sometimes Paul, we pray and we try to tell God how to provide. We're saying God sent a lamb. But God says, I'll send a ram. So we need to say, God, any way you bless me. It's all right with me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But then there's another thing that we need to understand. I'll be Abraham. Abraham. No, I'll, I'll be you be Abraham. Okay. And I'll be the ram. Step down the bottom of the stairs. Okay. All Abraham is doing is being obedient to God. God told him to meet him at Mount Moriah. So he's just walking in obedience. Doing what God told him to do. Living holy. Paying his tithe. Being obedient to God on his way to Mount Moriah. But what Abraham did not know is because of his obedience that he was on a collision course with his blessing. Because while Abraham was coming up his side of the mountain, God was sending the ram up the other side of the mountain. Hallelujah. 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 And because of his obedience, he was on a crash course with his blessing. Let me tell you something tonight. If you'll just be obedient, God will send the ram. 
am up the other side of the mountain hallelujah you won't have to find the blessing the blessing will find you hallelujah you won't have to look for money money will find you hallelujah you won't have to look for a promotion the promotion will find you hallelujah. somebody give him some praise right now hallelujah hallelujah